Hello friends, we will see the real time interview questions which were faced by me. These are created from uh, two or three companies interview uh, given by me. Hope it will uh, find you helpful. So uh, this is the Microsoft Azure and DevOps related uh, real time interview question which having the two or three year of experience. Okay, so let's start with the uh, very first question. First question is how do you perform scaling in your virtual machine? It is related to uh, virtual scaling as scaling related question. Two types of scaling we know horizontal and vertical scaling. So how do you perform it? Next question is what is VM skill set? What is VM skill set? Then next question. Did you create any database or manage instances in Azure? So uh, another question like uh, did you deploy any database or manage the instances related question? Uh, means basically Azure infrastructure related question. Next question. What are the different types of disk available while creating virtual machine? So uh, this is asking about the OS disk, operating system disk, actually SSD and HDD and ultra SSD. We have the different type of disk. We can uh, go through the documentation of virtual machine. So you will find there. Next question. Five, do you have any experience in DevOps? So if you have experience, then you can tell them or not. Uh, if you are preparing, then prepare uh, which kind of experience you have gained. Next question, six, what are the two types of agents in DevOps? It is another DevOps related question. So agents uh, are like a Microsoft agent and uh, uh, two types of agent we have in DevOps. So you can go through the documentation, you can find there. Next question, what is the Azure board? So board related question of the, this is a DevOps related question. Next question, how can you clone Azure pipeline? So Azure pipeline, how we can clone it? So uh, I would like to give this answer of this question. So one approach is to create a pipeline is to copy an existing pipeline and use it as a starting point. For YAML pipeline, the process is as easy as copying the YAML from one pipeline to another. For pipeline created in the classic uh, editor, the procedure depends on whether the pipeline is copy is in the same project as the new pipeline. If the pipeline to co copy is in the same project, you can clone it. And if it is in the different project, you can export it from the project and import it into your project. So this is the brief question. Next, what are the license? used case where you use a PowerShell. So basically it's an automation related question and PowerShell related question. Next question is tell me more project. Tell me your project. What is all about? Okay. So if you are working on your, any project, then tell, tell them in briefly and what you are doing exactly in your project. Next, how many microservices did you deploy in this project? So tell them what you did. Okay. Next, where you deploy your services? Do you have any database servers? So uh, here the exactly where is your services or application server or database server? Where? Next, 
tell me branching strategy of your current application so current uh, project uh, or if you are using like .NET application, then what is the branching strategy? Strategy main branching or sub branching? So you should tell briefly. This is related to DevOps question. Next, do you have experience in Jenkins? So if yes, then tell. If not, don't tell. Next question: Are you using a software uh, management uh, tool or Jira. So if you use you are using a Jira, then tell them. Next is do you have any experience in project building in Maven or Gradle? Next, what DevOps tools have you worked on? So basically uh, DevOps related question and uh, tell them uh, which kind of tools you are going to use, like uh, uh, what git githubs or uh, repos or visual studio so different type of tools using or work on okay next question is do you have experience in application monitoring so monitoring related question next is uh, if i came to you and ask for azure infra for a new setup for my application then where do you start? So basically a real time question and a scenario based question. You have to prepare accordingly. Okay. Next is how the work is assigned to you. So it means how work assigned to whether uh, like uh, Jira or emails you're getting talking about the work. Okay. Next, how to troubleshoot issue. Where do you go and check? You get alerts or you check them manually. Okay, so basically troubleshooting related question. Is any automation have you done? So if you've done automation, then tell them. Next, said, do you have any experience of creating a pipeline from scratch or uh, modify new pipeline? So if you uh, created a pipeline from the scratch, then tell them the procedure. Or if you are using the existing pipeline, then uh, how you modified and how branching and how all about the, you have to tell them. Next question is, have you generated SAS token? So yes, uh, such token we can say. Next question, what is your core strength in Azure? Okay, core strength, uh, tell them your core strength in Azure, whether you are uh, very good in application building or you are very good in monitoring or infrastructure, anything, app services, pass services, as services and SaaS services. It is your core strength. Next is how do you ensure your web application? It's basically front end application is secure. So how do you ensure? Next question, where do you define that? This is the related question. Where do you define the front? You configure it basically. Next is secure vault or key vault are same or different? Security related question. You can check uh, check uh, the key vault. Okay. Next question is uh, what is the web application firewall? WEF. Next question. Can you name of five major component of DevOps? So five major components. You can tell them. Next is how do you handle dependency during the pipeline? So dependency during the pipeline, how can you handle? Uh, container, uh, not container exactly. It, is a, it, it can say blob, file storage, table storage and queue storage. What is a page blob? 
so another uh, different question so it is very important question page block what is docker docker what is docker you know docker is a container okay contain the different uh, images of the desire uh, or you can customize your own image in docker container as between azure monitor and azure health service okay exactly the difference between the monitor and health service what exactly monitor do and uh, health service do so you can tell them then you, uh, next question is if i want to know that data center is on then where will i get the notification from will i getting from azure monitor or will i getting azure service health so related question we can find out the answer by using a monitor and uh, using a service help next question is uh, have you heard about the event hub so if you don't know event hub then prepare it next question do you know azure functions next question suppose you are working on a pipeline and this pipeline getting failed at the of build stage uh, what is your approach for troubleshooting the scenario so this is related to mm, ci cd pipeline and uh, what will be the approach of troubleshooting so you have to tell them next question if it throwing an error that dependency not resolved date then so another you can find uh, this is a related question because without uh, practice uh, you can't get uh, this kind of errors okay so you have to solve through practicing next question explain the architecture of application gateway if i am looking to deploy my application on application gateway so what are the basic requirement so basically a red to application gateway question they are asking about the basic requirement next is uh, if you are accessing the application and it's throwing an error 502 bad gateway the what will do you what will you do okay so if the application is uh, showing the uh, 502 bad uh, get, gateway error then what will you do so you have to go accordingly like checking the application behavior and uh, like uh, kudo service you can check whether the service is available or not on the bad gateway so you can assign the gateway okay next question any configuration tools do you know like shape puppet or ansible so if you are the azure administrator then you can uh, you have to read like shape or ansible or puppet next question is the difference between shape and ansible so what is the shape and what is the ansible next are you using any container technology like docker or kubernetes next question how can you log in a docker container next how you are using powershell in your project so another automation related question next question is print uh, output of prime numbers using powershell basically it was the question uh, asked by uh, in uh, prime number okay so you can uh, and find the uh, project uh, you can find the code in your, uh, google if you search what a chance to write docker file so tell them uh, if you are working on a docker file or not next is uh, difference between structure and unstructured data so uh, difference between structure and structured data related to storage question next question is uh, what are the major resource what, what
what are the major resources you have used which resources you have used next while creating a virtual machine what are the criteria you normally consider so uh, while creating the virtual machine you you like uh, you can consider the location you can consider the uh, resource uh, group also subscription and uh, ip public ip or private ip or virtual networks or different types of uh, uh, like criteria are there okay next question is suppose you have to switch on for specific time period okay how you can achieve that suppose you have to switch on for specific uh, time period how you can achieve that so this is automation related to question next is what is a load balancer if there is a issue in virtual machine how you check that issue if there is a issue in virtual machine how you check that issue next question how you configure that notification option so notification option how you can configure it, tell them then what is the zone redundancy so zone redundancy means what you can tell them uh, so this is the replication or the redundancy like a storage storage related question next is uh, what are the different platform as a service you use which uh, different platform services you used what are the steps you follow while virtual machine patching so uh, patching and update updation and installation which uh, standard process you are following okay next question is different uh, difference between load balancer and application gateway so what is the major difference load balancer and application gateway tell them and last question is did you create virtual network can you tell the steps for creating a virtual network so if you created a virtual network then uh, tell them a steps okay so these are the question which was uh, faced i hope you will like it and uh, uh, i would recommend that uh, share it share it uh, with your friends because uh, they also know how to crack the interview okay so this is me vijay thank you for listening